Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Historic Eats. On today's day in history, on April 14th, 1912, it was the historic day that the RMS Titanic hit an iceberg and sank a few hours later. Now, we do have some of the artifacts of exactly what life was like the day before the ship sank, and we're gonna try and recreate some of that today. We are gonna make Waldorf pudding, which was the dessert that was served to first class passengers that were on board the Titanic. If y'all haven't seen my previous video on a Titanic meal, I made the final meal that they had for dinner on the Titanic. That will be linked up above. Um, but as we did in that video, we're also gonna be using the authentic replica plates that were used in first class on the Titanic. It's this beautiful gold and navy blue pattern. And this is like one of the most unique bowls I've ever seen. It's like a flat, has a flat, thick top. I think the water pudding would look really, really beautiful in this. So we're gonna give a crack at it and see how we can do. And not gonna lie, I was a little bit tempted to just buy like a pudding packet instead of making like a custard, because I've never made a custard before. But we have to do it the authentic way. And I don't know, it might be even better than pudding, instant pudding. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna take you along on the journey with me of making this amazing meal and maybe we will have a special guest at the end. I almost chopped my finger off. Don't chop your finger off, Rachel. So now we're gonna make the custard part. So we gotta whisk some milk, medium high. Okay, go. So I currently have her in the oven now. Uh, she has to bake for 50 minutes, which is a long time. Like, I don't know, it just kind of surprised me, but I think I did everything right. The directions are kind of vague, uh, I think because this is just an older recipe. Um, it didn't have any measurements on temperature and stuff like that. It just said right below a simmer, which I'm not exactly sure what below a simmer is. I'm, I don't know, it's hard to tell. So hopefully everything turns out good. Hey Sam! 
Yes. <laughs> I have the dessert of the first class passengers on the Titanic. This is what they had the last night. So you did the dinner before and you did the dessert today? Yes. Is it rude if I say it looks like scrambled eggs? Uh, no. <laughs> Served this in first class? Yes. Interesting. It's definitely probably better than mine, but. Oh, don't say that. I I'm haven't sure even it's... tasted it yet. I'm sure it looks great. Right, let's... And there's supposed to be whipped cream on top, but we don't have any. Okay, all right, right, a moment of truth. Everybody, if she poisons me. One, I'm joking. One, two. Hmm. It's okay. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, it's just different, you know? Hmm. It's like a pudding. A pudding. It's got a texture of apples. Yeah, there's apples in it. <laughs> if you want to make this for yourself, I highly suggest getting the instant jello pudding packet because it would probably turn out a little bit better than this. It looks fine. It's not bad, but... Hmm. How about this while we eat? Uh, I will act like a character from the Titanic and you have to try to guess who it is. Okay. okay. James Cameron's movie? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's uh, been a while since I've watched. All right, well, I'm sure you'll, let me see if you figure it out. Okay. It's very interesting. The young lady slipped so suddenly, yet you had your time to untie your jacket and your shoes. Cal. Good job. <laughs> Good, wait, or, yeah, Cal? Was that, no. <laughs> wait, no, 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 no. It was his butler. Oh, Cal's butler? The guy who tied Jack up downstairs. Oh, it was him. It was okay. Him. Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, Lovejoy. Oh, okay. Lovejoy. Lovejoy. Love <laughs> I would have never gotten that. Okay. No, thank you. We are dressed in our best and are prepared to go down like gentlemen. But we would like a brandy. Aster? John Jacob Aster? Close. Benjamin Guggenheim. Oh, okay. <laughs> these, are rich guys. These, are, these are tough ones. These are tough ones. Okay. But... No, do you have anything else? Mm, let's see. Who was, uh, I'm trying to think. All right, uh, they're before the ship leaves. Mm -hmm. Moment of truth, someone's luck about to change. Why'd you bet our, all of our money? Someone's luck's about How did a certain someone get on board the Titanic? Oh, ja Jack's friend. Why'd you bet all our money? What's his name? I don't know. It's Fabrizio. Okay. <laughs> Take her to see Mr. Moodle. Let's stretch her legs. I honestly have no idea. That's the captain! <laughs> That's the captain! I just don't know. I don't see what all the fuss is about. She doesn't look any bigger than the Mauritania. You can be blasé about some things, but not about Titanic. It's a hundred feet longer than the Mauritania, and far more luxurious. I have no idea. Cal. Rose and Cal. Oh. <laughs> That's the beginning when Rose first sees the ship. Okay, I'm like, I give up. I don't know any of these. I've got one more, and I know you can get this okay. one. Okay? All right. Son, son, do you have any idea what you're doing? Well, you're about to walk into the snake pit. What you plan to wear? Molly Brown uh, when Jack's going to dinner. You I knew it. that one. You got it. <laughs> and my favorite quote is right after they blow the trumpet, she goes, Alright. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and hit subscribe. And would you eat this if I made this for you? I would. It's not bad. <laughs> it's just not the best ever, you know? Right. It'll work. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye now. Why on earth do they always insist on announcing dinner like a damn cavalry charge? <laughs> yeah, I like her. She's I like awesome. Brown. She's my favorite. Ooh.